Yes, yeah, shalom. Um, I want to start this quick video, you know, by giving no praises to the Most High Hawa, Basham Yashai, Basham Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutes to you, brothers out there that um, teach the word in, some, in truth and sincerity. Uh, so, around me here again with a quick and prompt, as I said, I'm gonna keep it quick. Probably gonna do like a longer video because we stay doing videos on the chip, man. You know, but the point I want to get out is that the chip itself is not a new concept, man. You know, because there's people out there saying, uh, you know, when it's to do with the human body directly, they usually test it on rats and various rodents or whatever man but even with all this animal protection stuff like they're even skeptical skeptical about that <clears throat> but the point is is that usually a lot of a lot of tests have gone into it man you know and people when they talk about the rfid or the nfc near field communication as it's called in europe they think that um like this the whole concept of the chip is new and that's incorrect. The, the the chip itself is not uh, a new um, concept, man. The chip has been around. And I just typed this into Google Chrome to, to, to show you that it can come in different shapes and sizes. But the use of the device itself has been around, man. And here we go. You've got bank card, credit card, you know. If you've got a bank card, you'll see this little... Thing on it that's nothing but the chip man because that can tell you when you use your your card where you use your card at what time you use your card at what atm you use your card at what bank you use your card okay it can tell you everything about that transaction man you know and this has been around for for, for ages man we're talking about over 10 years man you know so the, the idea of a chip itself is not new man you know people talking about ah oh, yeah but the micro the mark the mark of the beast can't be the chip because because they, they have to test it oh yeah they probably would have done tests and have done tests on the rice grain sized and shaped mark um chip that's inserted into people but nonetheless man it's not a new technology man you know and um, to, to prove to you that the mark of the beast is um, an actual insertion, man, I got it up here on a blue letter, all right? Um, Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and it it um, it basically, when you get to the point mark in the Greek, it uh, G, um, G. 5480 and play it. Strong G 5480. Haragma. Haragma. Yeah, they say Haragma, but um, more colloquially known, <laughs> we just say Karagma, man, you know, which means um, an insertion, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so like yeah, I'm just I'm still working out how to use the blue letter. I can use it well on a laptop, but on my phone it's like it's set out differently. But um, it pretty much means insertion, man. So what? You're gonna insert Christianity into you? You're gonna insert I don't know the system into you, whatever you call the mark of the beast. It's clearly something physical that has direct contact with the body insertion under the skin man which is exactly where the chip goes man you know and that's the script i just brought it out but here again it says revelation 13 16 and 17 he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead you know and as apostle heart say you can even receive it in the ass man in the butt cheek if you want you know, but the point is that you're going to be inserted, man. And for the most part, most people are going to get it in their hand with their forehead, man. You know, it's accessible. It's easy access, man. 
and they ain't gonna force it down your throat and say here this new device take the chip or the RFID or the NFC man they gonna advertise it they gonna put it in the news they gonna you know oh it's easy to get into work oh it's easy to access your bank details oh it's easy to do this it's easy to do that easy 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 and we're living in a lazy society where people don't like to do anything man people if 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 you don't have to raise a finger and there's a way to do that or there's a technology for that people will be up that street man you know so they're gonna advertise it as as this way of easy living accessibility all of that man and the masses will be fooled into taking it man you know even israelites that know about this thing are gonna wind up taking it man because gonna come a point where it's the chip and so-called live or don't take the chip and die man but we who believe in your Hashem, your shai bashem makakodash man you know the lord is our savior he going to sustain us man he says none of these things shall come nigh unto thee you know so all the calamity that's gonna come we have faith in the lord that we don't need no goddamn chip man we just need the the word of your Hashem, your shai man to be our wisdom and our comfort and our he will be our protection man you know but i just wanted to bring that out and we've done this over and over and over man but you know the chip man it's an insertion that's just the bottom line it's not anything else man it's the rfid chip man that's the market beast here's that i'm gonna wrap it up just a quick overview of the basics of the chip because we could get you know into the chip but this is just the basics of it you know back to the basics so we're at Amnesty Shalom, man.